What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. Um, the content of FIFA 20 guys right now, I don't think is uh, necessarily stellar. Um, I think during summer heat, we got a lot of players to play for, a, a lot of content, a lot of packs, a lot of upgrade packs, a lot of players in packs. There, there was just generally lots to go. And uh, although I know that we've had a fair old chunk of FIFA 21 news and information and screenshots and gameplay and, and whatnot, um, it does feel like EA have just given up on FIFA 20. We are in a promo. We are literally in the um, the pre-season promo, which was promised lots of different things that just doesn't seem to be getting delivered. We don't have a player to play for right now um, in the season objectives, which is quite surprising. I, I enjoyed Summer Heat and how many players there were available to play for. Uh, there's nothing worthwhile in season progress. As we know, the, the milestones just haven't been touched basically all year. Um, and then when it comes to the store, there hasn't even been promo packs in store in the longest time, which is how you know EA just don't care anymore. You know, there's the best of in packs, um, but sadly, there's not actually any good reason to do anything and then in terms of what content has been dropped yesterday there was absolutely nothing at 6 p.m like literally nothing and then the U euro for europa league halftime challenge came for a gold players pack um again it's, it's like at this stage in the game a gold players pack just isn't good for anybody ever uh to get there you need a 75 rated squad with an intro leverkusen player which meant it's probably barely even worth it at least it was tradable on this occasion for the first time in a while uh, but now, from today, guys, I mean, obviously that Jean Felix is there. He didn't even get put into the players tab either. He just got put on for a daily uh, amount. The 81 double upgrade is there. As you can see on the screen, the 86 plus upgrade is there. And that is the content for today. Just the 86 plus pack. Now, much like the 89 pluses and the 86 pluses last week, these are fairly juiced, you know. I mean, for me, I've, I've managed to get a 99 Cristiano Ronaldo um legit a 98 team of the year de bruyne a 99 Lewandowski. Well, where is that Lewandowski? was he there yeah there he is so I've, I've i've managed to get some good stuff out of packs recently it's just kind of pointless now from this one we do need a team of the season player uh, i might go with that the three card 95 rated uh and just useless for me i might go with that renato sanchez card as well the team of the season i just don't mind using in the slightest because um you, you could just get them back anytime so i'm gonna go with uh, this man right here unless he's tradable Oh, he's untradeable. There you go. So perfect. So he can go in there. Um, and then we'll just populate a Syria squad. It only needs an 84 rated squad. So the fact that I'm putting a 95 rated player in uh, should make it fairly simple to get the rest of this team done without having to worry too much about too much. I do have that 89 Cooley Valley in there as well. Should I need him? Uh, I would just like to hope that I don't. So we've got Barella. Maybe we're going to need a little high rate card in here because it is quite low rated. My, my club is, I mean, I have, I've had no reason to boost the club, no reason to play the club, no reason to do really anything at all in the club. So we're 82 rated right now with that team. Let's see what else we've got there. So I might take that uh, that Cooley Bally because I don't think we'll get anywhere else outside of that. And that only takes us to an 83 rated squad as well. That's interesting. Um so we're still going to need to go and get another one of those uh, high-rated players that was there. Brozovic and Kragno can go in. Um, there's Brozovic over the 79. There you go. So that's enough. So it's an 86 player plus pick pack. I will open some more of these from the community as well. So I'll uh, tweet out and put in the Discord for people that were you know want me to open theirs. Team of the seasons, team of the years come out of these quite thick, quite fast. Not for us. I mean, that really is bad. It's an 86-plus player pick pack. We've got Insame, who we already have, who is already uh, untradeable as well. He would be okay. If this was a tradable pack, it would be okay because um, because uh, it, it, it discards like 75k. Um, but as it is, I mean, we're just going to have to take Chiellini, aren't we? And, and there's really nothing else going on. So when we look on Footbin, I know uh, Ansu Fati has been upgraded by one. Um, I think... I think has Goretzka been upgraded as well? I'm not entirely sure. There's like a couple new players in packs like Man of the Matches and stuff. But generally speaking, um, it's pretty it's pretty poor. So yeah, there you go. Like Fatty has been upgraded. Dead Eye Chem style on him makes him real nice, real usable. Before I go and open players, other players' packs, I might actually do that for later on. Might do a 3am video on that. What I also wanted to talk about here today 
or just look at here today was EA Direct Communication. They put out a whole bunch of responses to people's tweets um, from people that were asking questions about FIFA 21. So let's go through a little bit of that today before we get out of here, actually. So uh, as you can see on the screen here, the first, uh, the first question is, uh, can you explain more about meaningful moments? Is it a new specific special card that will be received through PAX or SBCs or is it similar to the card type we've had in FIFA 20 like Team of the Week? Uh, moments items will be released in the same way as previous years. In FUT 21, we'll be able to upgrade individual attributes rather than an entire category like shooting, which would raise all attributes associated with shooting, which we already had our answers to. Uh, they also gave some pro clubs in information today, guys, and basically they're not changing. It says uh, on today's pitch notes, we talk about FIFA 21 pro clubs. And what they do in FIFA 21 Pro Clubs is there is new AI player customization. So instead of having the default AI players, you can now change the way they look, their names, their kit numbers, their age, their ethnicity, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then after that, there's now new tactics that you can have as presets on the D-pad, um, which is fair enough. And then after that, that's literally it like they're they're not changing pro clubs at all they don't care about pro clubs i wouldn't be surprised if they removed pro clubs in the near future i don't know why they keep it if they're just not going to put any effort into it um mark says uh, we'll be able to use our new customized stadium in foot champs as opposed to everyone using the standard fewe stadium every game Yes, all weekend league matches will be played in the Foot Champions Stadium. Any kinds of customizations that you have applied to your club will be visible to your opponent when you are the home team, with the exception of the pitch line customization, which I'm very happy with. Um, Sam here says, on the pitch notes, it shows that 500 Foot Champs points is for qualification. Can you confirm that it will remain 500? And EA said those screenshots are from a build in development. Champs points will require for the weekend league will remain at 2,000. I personally think that's quite sad. I, I don't think it's necessary you, the, to have two competitive modes and access to one of the competitive modes to be earned via the other competitive mode anyway is just a bit backwards and a bit silly um to have it so hard to achieve as well is, is just a bit stupid i don't know why ea limit it like that um is it possible to disable colored lines across the pitch of opponents i think the yellow or pink lines really should not be on a football pitch you have full control over the look of your own stadium however when playing away at an opponent stadium you always see white pitch lines um, I don't know what this one here was, but we're delivering live foot friendlies with the ability to include objectives and a limited number of attempts. At times throughout the year, these live friendlies will feel similar to the experience of old DKTs, which is the old daily knockout tournaments, whilst not being limited to that four win in a row experience. So I wonder if this is a case of EA hearing the fact that we want DKTs back, we want tournaments back. And it got me a little bit more excited because in yesterday's video, I talked about the live foot friendlies and how it was like, oh, I don't really know if I care about that. It depends what the rewards are and so on and so forth. Um, the fact that they're kind of referencing the DKTs and such makes me a little bit more interested in, okay, this could be something fun. And, and as long as they manage it well throughout the year, this this could be something very engaging. So I'm a bit more excited about the live foot friendlies. Um, am I still able to play on PS4 with my account after carrying it over to PS5? Yes, just not at the same time. Um, if I want to grind Rivals objectives, is it possible to decide if I use one of my 30 games in Rivals or do I need to play my 30 games first and then start grinding objectives? Uh, it says your first 30 games will count towards your weekly score and allow you to complete objectives. Beyond your first 30 games, the weekly score will be the only thing that stops counting for progression. Uh, draft has been confirmed to be in FIFA 21, but co-op won't be in Draft, which is sad. Uh, we're prior we prioritize adding co-op to the most popular ways to play far. So again, EA just don't care about draft. They, they don't care about co-op and draft. And it's very interesting that there is no... I don't know if... Um, uh, oh, here it is. Uh, can we choose to play from the Tube Boy? Can we choose who we play against in 2v2 fuck co-op friendlies? For example, me and a friend on one team and invite two friends who are both on the same team. Or are we only allowed to play random people online? It says, we've seen your feedback, but for Foot21, we do not have support for game invites from co-op sessions. This includes fuck friendlies. That sucks. So that means myself and skills can't go up against you know, Bates and Castro or myself and Nick can't play against Zway and Matt or anything like that. That that really sucks for me personally. I don't know about you guys. Um, and then here, you won't be able to play across console generations on crossplay in FIFA 21, which we already knew. Um, and then with the PS5 and PS4 users being on the same FUT market, yes, they will. Same as when previous gen consoles come out. Will FUT events be the main new mode in which season objectives are completed in, or will that just be a new extension to the pre-existing systems in which objectives are completed in rivals and squad battles? Life at friendlies will at times throughout the year be tied to season objectives. 
you will continue to find objectives associated with rivals and squad battles as well in fight 21 objectives in general guys um and, and then they they kind of i think we're actually on the day before's uh content now objectives in general are just an area that i think was so underused and underutilized this whole year like like specifically obviously milestones um i think was like just greatly underused but you know they talked there just about um having more ways through rivals and champs to earn things like the fact that this is the limit is just so sad i know i've I've seen the comments right of people saying oh you keep talking about how you want more from milestones but you haven't even done the stuff that's there what what reason would i have to go and get an 85 trossard or an 86 moy gomez or even for the locked ones what reason would i have right now to get an, an 88 moy gomez or um the the 88 gabrielson they're just so far below the power curve and have been even since they've been released that it just doesn't make any any difference or any sense. But anyway, guys, so that's what we had today. There's the 86 Player Plus pack. I'll open some of those on stream uh, later on tonight. I'll be streaming after the football, so around 10 p.m. And then we'll get into some full guys after that. Um, we got some Foot21 Pro Clubs information, which is basically saying we've done nothing with Pro Clubs, but a couple of little things here or there. And then, of course, the Q&A from FIFA 21 as well that we read through in today's video that answered a few questions and actually got me a little bit more excited about live friendly. So um, there's still a long, long time for FIFA 21 yet as well. So I'm very curious as to why EA are pumping out so much FIFA 21 information and so much FIFA 21 content when there's still such a long time before we can even get our hands on the game. But that is going to be the end of the video for today. So if you did enjoy it, guys, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to watch any other content, any Fall Guys content, it will be right here. Any Pro Clubs content, it will be right here. Just click or tap on those and get into those videos. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.